Hello everyone. This is Siddharth from emberjournal.com. In this video, we will see the interface of an RC servo motor. Servo motors basically have three wires with them. There are the positive, the negative, and the signal. Signal line is usually blue or white in color. So this is where you will be giving your uh, pulse width modulated signal. Um, the servo position is directly proportional to the width of the pulse that you're going to be giving in the signal pin. When you give a give a servo motor 1.5 millisecond width pulse, it uh, the servo horn points to 90 degrees. And if you reduce the width from 1.5 millisecond to 1 millisecond, from 90 degree it goes to 0 degree. And uh, similarly, if you increase the pulse from 1.5 millisecond to 2 millisecond, it's going to go, go from 90 degree to 360 degree. The basic understanding is that your pulse should vary from 1 millisecond to 2 millisecond to produce a variation from 0 degree to 360 degree. Now let's see how we can produce this uh, 1 millisecond pulse minimum and uh, 2 millisecond maximum pulse. We have three graphs here. The first one represents a counter. The second one represents the states of an IO pin. On the y axis we have the count and on the x axis we have the time. As the count increases with uh, time, you can see that the line is linear. The line is linearly increasing. Um, so we will uh, write a code that interrupts every 1 millisecond once and count up to 20. So this will be our counter 1. Once this counter reaches 20, we will turn the IO pin off. That is we will, uh, we will have a high to low transition in an IO pin. We will also have another counter, a second counter that will also be counting the same uh, 0 to 20 but we will have a threshold reference value set for example if we were to give 1.5 uh, millisecond we, sh we will subtract this 1.5 from 20 and write that to the counter value once this counter reaches value it will turn on the pin effectively what we are doing is that we are turning on a pin for some time and then turning it off and repeating the same thing every 20 millisecond which is exactly what the servo motor requires the servo motor expects one pulse every 20 milliseconds which is 50 hertz basically this pulse strain should last for at least three cycles so that the servo can position itself properly you can see that there are two dotted lines here for illustration purpose the upper dotted line will produce a very thin pulse that is the width of the pulse is very low while the lower line over here will produce a bigger width. So uh, by varying this reference value, we are able to vary the width of this pulse. Our software should make sure that the reference value is not reduced very low or increased very high so that uh, we can have a minimum pulse of 1 millisecond and a maximum pulse of 2 millisecond, which is exactly what the server motor requires. Now we will start designing the software uh, with this basic knowledge at our disposal.